Hello everyone and welcome to week 17 and 18 of my Norway vlog. So this week I decided to go out and have a coffee and I went shopping as well but the fitting rooms weren't accessible so I didn't end up buying anything and then I just sat outside and I just went towards the sea and it was absolutely stunning. Then it was time for my oral examination which went really well and then we saw the northern lights and they were even visible in my home country and basically anywhere. <laughs> um, they were absolutely stunning and it kind of inspired me to do some research on the traditions and superstitions surrounding the northern lights here in Norway. So I decided to dive a bit deeper into what the Sami people which are the indigenous people of Norway, what they actually thought about the Northern Lights back in the day. So just a quick recap. Sami people are indigenous to the Arctic regions of Scandinavia and they have developed deep preference and mystical beliefs surrounding the Northern Lights. I'll just put on the screen what they would call the Northern Lights because I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. And the Sami people believed that it wasn't just a breathtaking natural phenomenon but also a manifestation of the spiritual world carrying profound cultural significance and wisdom passed down through generations. So for the Sami people, the Northern Lights were believed to be the souls of the departed dancing across the night sky in celestial celebration. While I'm going to tell the more positive parts of the story, some also say that it was believed to be the spirits, but the fact that they were dancing around was actually a bad thing. So one of the superstitions surrounding the Northern Lights is that you cannot whistle, dance, yell, or do anything that might upset them. So. The more positive side of the story is that each flicker and you held a symbolic meaning communicating messages from their ancestors and guiding the living through life's journey. So when the northern lights would be visible, elders would share their stories of the lights, teaching younger generations to interpret their movements and colours, fostering a deep connection to the land and the spiritual realm. So in Sami tradition, witnessing the Northern Lights was considered a sacred experience and it was often accompanied by various rituals and ceremonies to honour the spirits and seek their blessings. So shamans, and I'll put their native name on screen again because I'm not going to try and pronounce that either, they would commune with the spirits during overall displays, uh, channeling their energy for healing, guidance, protection and various other reasons. And it was believed that the lights possessed the power to bring good fortune, fertility and harmony to the community. So it was quite a big deal if they were visible. So moreover, the Northern Lights played a vital role in Sami cosmology, shaping their understanding of the universe and their place within it. They saw Aurora as a bridge between the Earth and the realm of the gods, basically. And they would often describe it as, you know, loosely translated to a luminous tapestry woven by the spiritual and supernatural forces. So I thought that was really quite interesting. And in addition to spiritual beliefs, the Sami people also incorporated the Northern Lights into various cultural traditions and practices. You could think about festivals and, and gatherings which were held during Aurora Peaks and when communities would come together to celebrate their heritage and share stories and partake in traditional foods and dances. And while reindeer herding is a cornerstone of the Sami life basically, it also intersected with auroral folklore because the herders would navigate by the lights during the winter migration so it was really important not only as a spiritual thing but also to guide them which I thought was really interesting and you know in general in Norwegian folklore the northern lights were often viewed through the lens of wonder and enchantment 
inspiring different myths and legend passed down through the ages. And there were tales of celestial battles between gods and spirits and mythical creatures illuminated by the imaginations of the storytellers. So it really is woven through their whole cultural heritage, you know, their influence. Other superstitions about it, it even said that it had influence on, on weather patterns and agricultural yields and human behaviour. And while we have a so much deeper understanding about what causes aurora, I think it's really interesting because these myths and tales have been passed through generations and generations. So I just thought it was really important for me to also share a bit of that during my Norway vlogs because the Norwegian culture is so rich and there's so many beautiful tales to tell and I'm just happy that I can be just a small part of that by doing research and sharing it here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in week 19 and 20 which will be my last weeks here before I can finally go home. <laughs>